Chinese companies sold rifles and body armor to Russia during war in Ukraine. In 2022, several Chinese companies, including one connected to the government of Beijing, sent Russian entities 1,000 assault rifles and other equipment that could be used for military purposes, including drone parts and body armor. About it informed Politico outlet. The shipment took place between June and December of 2022, according to the data provided by Import Genius, a customs data aggregator. Among other things, one of China's largest state defense contractors, China North Industries Group Corporation Limited, sent CQA rifles to the Russian company Tekrim, which cooperates with the Russian state and army in June 2022. The CQA rifles, modeled off of the M16 but tagged as civilian hunting rifles in the data, have been reported to be in use by paramilitary police in China and by armed forces from the Philippines to South Sudan and Paraguay. Da Jiang Innovations Science and Technology Company, also known as DJI, sent drone parts like batteries and cameras via the United Arab Emirates to a small Russian distributor in November and December of 2022. DJI is a Chinese company that has been under US Treasury sanctions since 2021 for providing the Chinese state with drones to survey the Uyghur minority in the western region of Xinjiang. Russia managed to import more than 800 tons of body armor worth around 10 million US dollars in December last year, according to the customs data from Import Genius. Those bulletproof vests were manufactured by the Turkish company Aritex, and most were imported straight from Turkey, although some of the shipments arrived in Russia via the United Arab Emirates. Russia also imported some body armor from the Chinese company Xinjing Guanzhou Import and Export Company. In addition to drones, Russia has for months relied on other countries, including China, for navigation equipment, satellite imagery, vehicle components, and other raw materials to help prop up President Vladimir Putin's year-old war on Ukraine. Although the customs data does not show that Beijing is selling a large amount of weapons to Moscow specifically to aid its war effort, it reveals that China is supplying Russian companies with previously unreported dual-use equipment, commercial items that could also be used on the battlefield in Ukraine.